Somebody's gonna get angry at the sound of volume. And oh boy, we've got a doozy. As you see here in Canada, we've got a brand new national embarrassment. And uh, while I'm a little late to the party, to the insult party, uh, there's still room at the table. Thank you, Mr. Gary Goodyear, our illustrious host. See, Gary Goodyear is our new Minister of Science and Technology in Canada. And uh, he's kind of, he's, uh, he's caused a bit of a controversy lately. In case you're, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, he's the Minister of Science and Technology, which implies certainly a knowledge of, um, oh shoot, what is the term? What is the term? Science! Yes! It implies that he understands what science is, but he was recently asked um, at some press conference, it was about a month ago now, so it's a little while ago, so I apologize, but uh, hey, I'm just still going to make fun of him. Anyway, he's asked about his views on evolution, because I guess there are some concerns that he's sort of a creationist, or that he doesn't really trust evolution or actually science. Oh, did I mention he's a chiropractor? Yeah, he's a chiropractor. And, uh, you know, basically the best chiropractors, all they really do is, um, they do some muscle therapy, some muscle release of tension, but uh, straight chiropractic is about as wooey as uh, homeopathy, which is to say, bunk, complete, nonsense. Oh, look, your spine is energy column for the healing, and blah, 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 crack. Oh, did that subluxation cause uh, your neck to go kablooey and cause you a stroke? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I'm just a scientist. I'm a scientician. I'm a chiropractor. Anyway, um, he was asked if he believed in evolution, and his response was, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm a Christian, and I don't think anybody is asking a question about my religion is appropriate. Yeah, it's actually what he said. Um, it was a like Gary, Mr. Goodyear, honorable douchebag, douche nozzle, Gary Goodyear. The question was asked of evolution, not of your belief structure, jackass. So, uh, anyway, someone asked him about that, and he qualified his statements. He said, oh, yes, I absolutely believe in evolution. And he said, we are evolving every year, every decade. That's a fact, whether it is to the intensity of the sun, whether it is to, as a chiropractor, walking on cement versus anything else, whether it is running shoes or high heels, of course we are evolving to our environment. But that's not relevant, and that is why I refuse to answer the question. The interview was about science and tech strategy, which is strong. I would like to apologize to the world on behalf of Canada. That guy is such a douche nozzle. Dude, that's not a description of evolution, okay? That's a description of, of, of a ja of, like a, of, what, personal societal trends or something? It's not even, like, that, that shows that he doesn't understand what evolution is. How can he even disagree with it? How can he be our science minister if he doesn't understand one of the basic tenets of modern science? Jackass, read a book. It's not hard. The literature's been around since before you were born. Go into a library, look up evolution. There's at least more than one book. I mean, Darwin himself wrote more than one book about the subject. Jesus Christ. God. Seriously? I mean, how did Mr. Harper, Prime Minister Harper, I have a question. I don't understand. You have to clear something up for me, okay? This guy, how did he get the job? How did he get hired by you to do this job? I mean, he's just some schmuck from Cambridge and now he's like, oh, our science minister? What the hell? I mean, if I go into a job interview and say, oh, I'm a programmer, I know dozens of programming languages, I understand how to make everything you need, and then someone says, hey, well, uh, what about C++? And I say, well, I don't think I can answer that question because uh, no one's used C++ in 25 years. Ha ha! Of course, then I would get laughed off, laughed off the chair I was sitting in in the interview and get knocked out of the room because if I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to get the job. So how does this schmuckhole get the job? That's right. We, like, ah. Oh. People are trying to get him out of out of work because, you know, quite frankly, a, a science minister doesn't understand the concepts of science. Never mind the specific applications or the specific things. Has no role in the job. He has no place in our government. Like, get out. Just go away or learn. But, man, you sound like a younger creationist. I mean, oh, well, I accept the concept of micro-adaptation, but that's different from evolution, and I can say that safely and confidently because I don't know what either of those terms mean. Where's my bitty? Oh, where's my bottle? I need some food. Oh, I need a nap. That's Gary Goodyear intellectually speaking. <laughs> don't challenge my beliefs because I don't have any reasons to believe them. Oh, I can't defend them. Oh, I need a nap. Oh, I'm Gary Goodyear. Good night. Ah. Somebody's gonna get angry at the sound of volumes With all the clicks and clacks, well that's all you'd ever